Jakub Brahimov, the best trader of the year here. Uh, I'm just cruising around uh, Basel right now. We are a little bit being a tourist. Uh, well, you can see I'm not even wearing any kind of suit or so. And uh, we have been talking to people, talking about the US presidential elections, which is tomorrow, and its impact in the market. The biggest commentary that I have been hearing about from traders these days is the S&P 500. So what is it? Basically what it says is that according to the theory, if S&P 500 just before the, the, uh, the event or the presidential elections is sloping downwards or trending downwards, it is very much likely that the presidential candidate will be from the opposition party. So because of this, among the financial markets players right now in Boston that I've been meeting, there are comments that they think there is a big likelihood for the Donald, Donald Trump candidacy. Uh, so that's, that's one thing. So you will be seeing a big up and down swings in S&P 500, Nasdaq, Dow Jones, etc., including into, uh, in the U.S. dollar index as well, USD-related forex pairs as well. If you see any comments that uh, basically Donald Trump is winning. So as a trading commentary or as a trading potential for tomorrow, you would be expecting to see any kind of, uh, well, kind of a poll or exit poll announcement that you would be seeing where Donald Trump would be appearing as the winner. You would be seeing that uh, the, uh, the, the U.S. Uh, stock market is going down. The, the global stock market is kind of going on bearish direction and, uh, and overall uh, negative for the USD. Meanwhile, each time you would be seeing Clinton going ahead in the polls, you would be seeing the, the, uh, the stock market going upwards and uh, USD getting stronger. So I'm not saying that or speculating who is going to be winning, but this is in short how the financial markets in correlation is like for the U.S. presidential elections. So that being said, this is me, Yago Brahimov, the best trader of the year, joining you from Boston, Massachusetts. And here it is, Boston for you.